Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 25th tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about few more uh, numeric functions in Python. So the first method that we're going to look at is the mod f method. And uh, what this function does is you pass to it a fractional number and uh, it returns a two item tuple and it gives you the integer part of the number and the fractional part of the number as separate items, right? So for this function, we have to import the math module and that's what I'm going to do using the import statement. I have to type in import math and then I can use the function by typing in math.modf, right? That's the name of the function. And as I said, it takes fractional arguments. So let me pass to it a number like 11.971. And when I do that, I see that as a result, I get a tuple that has the fractional part of the number first, which is 0.971 with a bunch of zeros. And it also has the integer part, which is 11, but it returns the integer part as a fractional value, right? So you don't just see the number 11, you get 11.0. But still, it's a very useful function. I'm sure you know you guys uh, will be able to build a lot of interesting programs around this function. And the next method that we're going to check out is the power method. And uh, in Python, it's called POW. And uh, this method returns the power of a number raised to another. And uh, it obviously takes two arguments. And uh, this function also requires the math module. So to use it, I'll type in math.pow. And then within parentheses, I'll type the number first. So let's say I want to raise uh, 4 to the power 2, right? I want to calculate 4 square. So I'll type in 4 first. I'll put in a comma. And then I'll type in the power to which I want to raise 4. So if I want to fi find out 4 square, I'll type in 2 there. When I press the enter key, I see that the result of 4 square is 60. The next method that we're going to check out is the hypot method. And uh, this method is used to compute the hypotenuse of a triangle. Uh, when you know the base and the perpendicular. So I'm sure we all know the Pythagoras theorem and uh, the theorem states that, you know, the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of squares of the base and the perpendicular. So it uses this theorem to find out the hypotenuse provided, uh, you know, you give it the values of the base and the perpendicular of the triangle. So, you know, again, you have to use the math module for this uh, method. I'll type in math dot Hypot and then within uh, parentheses, let's say I want to find out the hypotenuse of a triangle that has uh, three as the base and four as the perpendicular. So, you know, the value of the hypotenuse is five. And if I want to find out the hypotenuse of a triangle that has, uh, you know, five as the base and 12 as the perpendicular, the hypotenuse is 13. Right? That's uh, cool enough. And uh, the next method that we're going to check out is the degrees method. And the degrees method is, uh, it, it actually returns the angle value in degrees for uh, an angle passed in radians, right? So, you know, we know the uh, mathematical constant pi, right? Its value is 3.14. And in Python, it's actually a known constant. You can check out its value by typing in math.pi. And, uh, you know, there you go. The value is 3.141592 and, you know, a few more digits after that. So. You know, if suppose I want to calculate the equivalent degrees value of pi radians, then, you know, I'll have to use the degrees method, as I said, I'll type in math dot degrees. And then within parentheses, I'll simply type in math dot pi. Right, there you go. We know that pi is equivalent to 180 degrees. And that's what I get. And, uh, you know, if suppose I want to find out the, you know, degrees equivalent of, uh, you know, minus four radians, then I can type in minus four within parentheses, and I get minus 229.183 degrees, right. And uh, the counterpart of the degrees method is the radians method, which converts an angle value from degree to radians, right. So to use this method, I'll type in math dot radians. And within parentheses, I'll, uh, you know, pass in uh, degrees value. So let me just copy this result and uh, paste it within the parentheses here. And when I press the enter key, I see minus four, right? So this, this is what the value that we supplied for the degrees method was. And, uh, you know, so this way we've checked that both functions, uh, you know, work properly. So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we are going to begin our discussion on string functions. And I hope you guys are having fun in this course. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next video. Till then, take care.